could have had a I'd let you, cupboard. I'd let you have a look in there, but... This has got the other, because obviously you can do the pulling things out. That seems a bit... Oh, I see. No, you can't get down. Can't get, we've got a huge way to go down now. <laughs> I, do, I don't know if I'm going to get it out again. Right. I'll stay in there then. I think I will have to, because I can't figure out how to get out. <laughs> Right, I'm off. Will you let me out? <laughs> Look at this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> What's going on there? <laughs> yeah. Working on his sales pitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is a Bursner Lyceo Harmony line 684G. They really know how to make up names for these things, don't they? <laughs> Price from 85,000 on the road. Thought we'd show you this because this is something sort of a bit for us left field. Don't know what the maximum weight is, we don't know what the MRO is. We know it's got a garage. The light in it. Looks like sliding door access to the rest of the van. Got the usual tie downs. Doesn't look like there's a rear view camera on it, surprising. Can't see anything unless it's built into the light or something clever. I think this is your services point, isn't it? Is this going to be open? Oh, yeah. Okay. Gas bottle in there. Two gas bottles, I imagine. And it looks like the water drain is in there, electric on that side. This is on a Ducato. And he's opening all the doors in there. It's a 140 brake horsepower engine. TV point in there. And usual sort of great big wide door here. Is it on a Ford or? No, no, no it's Fiat. Fiat. It's a Fiat. German one because it's huh? left hand drive. Yeah. Yeah, six speed manual. But I think it's quite close in sort of layout to. Dharma 69.4. Yeah, we did like that layout. So, you know, it's not something we'd rule out. You know, drop down bed above you. Yes, there's a bit of a curve there. There's a bit it's of a not cut completely off, isn't it? straight, but. There's quite a lot of sofa space, isn't there? It's amazing lounge. Yeah. You've got this uh, table. long table, which obviously you can move around and yeah. do all clever things with. It seems yeah. to have two, it's got two it's got, legs. Well, yeah, it looks, it's a, quite a structure quite there, doesn't it? <laughs> Quite a table. <laughs> well, these very, very comfortable. This. Yeah, the seat backs are quite high, aren't they? I know, yeah, just, yeah. Sort of cover up the window, don't they? Oh, bang my head. Yeah, I and mean, if you look there, you see where the window is, and the seat backs are sticking, sticking over out. the window. Yeah. Which is... They're pushing you forward a little bit, but the, yeah. the seat is really yeah. comfortable. Yeah. I would say there's a huge amount of headroom here, but then our van hasn't got much headroom and it hasn't got a drop down bed at the front. No. Notice they've put like um, some of the bedding in there as well. Oh, have they? Yeah. Don't know if they're meant to do that. It's perhaps why it's a bit low. Oh, I mean, this, this floor is nice. Yeah, it's a very sort of. The um, colour scheme is nice. Textured floor and yeah. very nice. I don't know if it's leather, artificial leather. Usually is these days, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, vegan leather. Vegan yeah. leather, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Three burner hob. No, no um, oven. I don't think so, unless it's hiding somewhere. Sometimes they hide them, don't they? Ubiquitous Thetford fridge. Yeah, how many Thetford fridges have we oh, opened and don't seen? I don't know. Thetford must be doing really well. This is a some sort of chopping board, but it looks like they've sort of tied it down somehow. Presumably people would break it. Oh, nice drawers. Mm. Oh, nice drawers. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's in there? It looks like a dishwasher, but it's not. A <laughs> dishwasher? <laughs> oh, that's what that end <laughs> You can always hope, can't you? Yeah, no, you... Yeah. No, it's two doors for the cupboard. Yeah, Look yeah. That cupboard. Wow. Yeah, I know. It's good, doesn't it? You obviously got the travel seats in there. I can see they've got yeah. the Agouti travel seat. 
That's what I mean. It's sort of another another take, take on, on the that layout. Yeah, on that layout. And it's a sort of layout you could live with if the bed comes down far enough, which it looks like it does. It comes down to there, yeah. 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 So presumably you lay these great big backrests flat. Yeah. And bring bring down the bed. Oh, the TV yeah. there. Yeah, TV's in a good place. And we've got satellite built into it. Would you say this was 85? You did, yeah. I said it quickly. Yeah. Really, really nice washroom. Try the um, pull across door. You've been in there, have you? No, not that one. The door for the... Oh, this. Yep. Oh, that works. So that's close. So you've got a ladder to climb into the shower. <laughs> Not really. I assume that's if you want to yeah. make this into a bed and yeah. put that one down. Well, that's right. So that's what that will give you a four bed. It actually it? looks like, I mean, I'm, I might be totally yeah. wrong, but because this is wide, yeah. that you just simply fold that out, lower it, and that's your bed. You're yeah. not fiddling about with another bit of wood. Yeah. Well, presumably the backrests make up part of the bed. Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't look too complicated, does it? No. Can I carry on with the washroom now? So yeah, carry okay. on. So a nice big sink. And toilet on the floor. Yeah. Jenny would be glad side. to see. And plenty of cupboard space. No, I like this. Yeah, I do like this. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Is the shower nice? Apart from the fact it's got Yeah, no, it's an excellent shower. Have a look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because you've got a little bit up the back. But yeah, it's not... there's a tiny lip, isn't there? You wouldn't worry too much about that. Or well, you've got something to put your yeah. shampoo. Yeah. yeah. And a hanging rail. It looks like that doesn't hit the top of the thing. Yeah, which is always a good design feature. And then you've got your access to the garage through there. Yeah. Trumer, isn't it? Trumer yeah, it's trimmer heating. Little USB points there. There's your controls. Fly screen on the door. I don't know why we say fly screen on the door. Every motor, I think, we've seen. Yeah, it's just originally when we had ours, never you never to. got that, did you? No. Had to buy one. No. As if, what do you want one of those for? That's right, keep the flies out. Okay. Like this. Yeah, so this is a Lyceo TD Harmony Line 727G. That's a twin bed one, so this is 89,575. Let's have a look in there before anyone else gets... Oh, I see, with all the... All the yeah, 89,575 right. as shown here. This is very swish, isn't it? Yeah, oh yeah. Yes, yeah, so you've got two travel seat things here. Oh, a bit, that feels a bit... Yeah, a bit wobbly, isn't it? Yeah. What are the seats mm. like? Uh, the lounge isn't as good as the other one. No. Oh, it's fairly comfortable. Again, More cloth-type cloth seats, aren't they? Yeah. It's just that. This is, a, like I say, an automatic. So it seems like a bit of wasted space if you don't put cupboards at the front there. <sighs> cupboards all round here with no drop down bed. No, it's just a bonus. And a Three burner hob. hob. Tiny, one of those tiny little. Tiny oven little things. thing that you can just about bake a pie in. <laughs> That's your nice cutlery drawer. Yeah. Soft closing. Yeah, somewhere for whatever that is. <laughs> Don't have to yeah. open them all. No. And a Dometic fridge. Yeah, look, Dometic <laughs> fridge. <laughs> it's got that. It's got the little lock, lock thing, isn't it? Is it that one or is it that way? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like with ours, it. I, I nearly it saw great. in there. Sorry. Well, I know what it looked <laughs> like, don't we? Well, if you move your coat out of the way, I'll have, <laughs> be able to have a better look. So there you are. Dometic fridge, just for a change. It's an automatic. Yeah. It is our fridge, isn't it, effectively, yeah. but with these silly, silly catches on them. Yeah. Yeah. It seems, when it's that width, it does seem a bit silly that it opens both ways. Yeah. Right, I think it's the I don't same. think it does, actually. No, I don't think it does. Oh, doesn't it? Oh, okay. No. So I haven't even got that advantage. 
So same uh, shower that we've seen on these Bursners, with a little lip on them and a hanging rail. And this will be uh, go back to the centre bathroom, yeah, aren't we? Stick the camera around the corner then. That's it. You got it? Yeah. Yeah, toilet's on the ground. Oh, is it? Good. Yeah. Can I come in? Yeah. All right, go on then. <laughs> You'll be getting very good at this by the time we finish. And this is quite high up, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, you ju it's just that you feel high up before you sit on the bed, but no, this is okay, but you've got shelves lockers lockers i mean you've head. got a huge garage well, a biggish garage yeah do you really need lockers to bang your head on i oh, know and you've got this again I mean, you could have had a I'd let cupboard you, i'd let you have a look in there but this has got I've the got other because obviously you can do the pulling things out that seems a bit oh i see now you can't get down can't get we've got a huge way to go down now <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get it out again. Oh, yeah. There you go. So what's the point of doing that then? Is well, you so you can get in the cupboards. Oh, you can't get in the cupboards can, No, you that. can't get in the cupboards with that out. Oh, I see. So you get in the bed, yeah. you put that away, then you realise you've, you've left your dressing gown in there. Yeah. And you have to get down, put that away, get in there, put that out, get back in. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think after a while you, you see these things and you think that's going to be a real pain. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I just wonder, first of all, why that went back, but now I see why it has to go back. Yeah, unless you just leap up onto the next step. And these aren't, you've got to sort of get in, climb on the bed to get in yeah, there. Yeah, well, we found that with uh, the ones we, that French bed one, doesn't it? You're forever climbing on the bed to get in the cupboards. And you can't. I mean, that doesn't move, that's solid. So you've got to sort of climb on here to... Oh, I don't know. No, no. it's that other one. Yeah. Was really nice. Yeah. It's a shame, isn't it? Quite like the other one. Not so keen on this one. You were not happy with that step, are you? No, it's no. sort of crunched, but... No, I... OK. We'll get out of there. OK, moving on. Yeah, so we can't find the one we were looking for. I don't think they've got it here. But uh, we're going to have a look at the 460, which is similar to the 490. Apart from, I think it's the. That's got a wardrobe there, and that one's got a separate shower. Yeah, yeah. okay. Okay, let's have a look then. So this is on a fit? Is it fit? Yeah. Okay. So the 460. License friendly again. Uh, I'm doing my sums there, it's weight in roadworthy condition, which gives it a payload of just over 500, which is not bad. Looks like you've got a huge garage. Get in there? Nope. Not. No. No. Huge garage. Huge garage, you'll have to take my word for it. <laughs> Locked, is it? kind man's going to open it for me. You, you just need two hands, that's the trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I need to develop a third hand. <laughs> Lovely. Look. That's it. Oh my goodness, Morning, look at this. It is now open. open. We hope you have a very enjoyable day. So this might be the, might be the last one we look at today before the crowds descend. So let's get inside and have a look. I presume there's a side out step there. It's quite a way yeah, up. So with these, you always get like the underfloor storage. So that's why it feels quite high up. We borrowed a Malibu A-Class from Tyne Valley Motorhomes a couple of years ago. Did quite like it, but we did comment on the head banging potential of that Malibu. Because you ba did bang your head. I nearly took chunks out of my head. <laughs> But nice, nice bed. A couple of steps up into it. Uh, 200 by 195 by 85. See this, uh, when that A class we borrowed, the bed to me seemed 
really high up. Yeah. Because it was longer and uh, whether it was just uh, yeah. the way it felt. But so if these are 200 long, that's plenty long enough, isn't it? Or 195 long, I'm not sure which way round it is. But yeah, do you want to... See what you think, because you, you always felt a bit of vertigo when you got up there. Because it, it did seem incredibly high. Yeah. No, this isn't, this isn't as high. No. No way is this as high. No. So you have got a humongous garage with this one. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to just sit up there and make sure you're all right? And can you get to the cupboards? And you can get to the cupboards but well, they're not the that steps. big, that's... No, but they go back. Yeah. They do go back in there. That's shelves, isn't it? Yeah, that's good. And then, is there one this side? Yeah, there's one curved one here. All right. With a little light on it. And yeah. your water's in there as well. So all your um, access to various things is always on the floor here. There we are. No, I don't know why in that A class it, it really felt as if you were way up on the ceiling. Yeah, maybe it was even higher than this. Yeah. Okay, so what we got here then? Oh, just the wardrobe. Okay. So that's quite nice because, yeah. you know, then you haven't got to get in that cupboard. No. A nice coat hook thing there. Okay, okay, that's not, not too bad. Lots of mirrors. I do like the mirrors in the, here, don't they? It's a beam me up Scotty shower. So you pull that round and it's got another door there. Yeah, that's good. Plenty of storage for your knickknacks. Generous sink. Ta toilet's on a bit of a pedestal. You want to check it out for us? With my long lings, I'll, pr I'll probably be all right. It was the fact that the one we hired, that went down. Okay. So your feet were... So this is all on one level. Yeah, no. so that's that's okay. It was it's the fact okay. that... You're not going to sit on it then? Well, I don't think it should really. No. 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 Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, don't use the toilet. Really because it's an open window. Yeah. Um, no, because the one we hired, yeah. this bit here was... Yeah going down it didn't have this in it okay well is, so is that a, that's a duck level. board isn't it some yeah. sort of duck board so you pull that out yeah when you're having a shower i mean it's not it's not no. the biggest the other the 490 it's got a separate shower over there yeah yeah and it's yeah. nice i like this but the quality was yeah was the quality good. was excellent yeah 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 right I'll stay in there then I think I will have to because I can't figure out how to get out. <laughs> right, I'm off. Will you let me out? <laughs> it's just got that. What's it doing? That's meant to turn it, isn't it? I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's on the Fiat. It does say it's available as right-hand drive, which is nice to know. But it's on a Fiat, and that's the automatic. And yep, lockers above. Yep, that's good. Now, the thing about Malibu is our local dealer, Todd's, do Malibu. Yeah, they do. There's another drop-down bed here. Yeah, I wonder it's if not you... a very big one. No, no, but, but that's okay. And if you could have it without the drop-down bed. You've got this very clever yeah, thing Yeah, and that makes you. into a... You put that there. Yeah. Extra bit of storage space. That's right. Yeah, it's good, it's good. It's got a three burner gas, no electric there, but that's okay. And it's got this split idea, so if you only want to make a cup of coffee... Uh, cup. cup of coffee. That's the one. Yeah, it's not a lot of places to put something unless no. you make use of the yeah. this or that. This is the slightly smaller one of course. Yeah. yeah. Alright, no, I like it, I like it. Mm. Uh, it was a nice place to be, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, I mean, it, the, again, there's not much lounging area. No, but then... no. If, you, if you're alright up there. <laughs> yeah. The mattresses were comfortable. Yeah. That. I think I'd like to try it and see if I can bang my head on the thing. Yeah. 
but bed comes down to here on this drop down bed. Does it? Yeah. Yeah, so you'd need a bit of a step up. You probably would climb up onto the. Would you? I don't know. Possibly. I'd rather not. climb up there than yeah. climb into yeah. that. Okay. All right, let's let some people look around. We'll have a look around right. the outside. Yeah, very nice wheels. It didn't look to see how much this was. And it says it's 78,420, but that says the standard equipment, so I don't know if paying more for the automatic. Yeah, so just looking around the other side, I have to go all the way, all the way around the stand to get out of it. But uh, very nice alloys on it. Got a locker here, presuming that gives you, yeah, that gives you access to under the floor. And that was good, wasn't it? On that yeah. Malibu. Gas locker, water point. Yeah, of course it is Carthago as well. Mm. It said it's 78,000, but it, it didn't say what the price of this one was. No, no. Because this has got automatic on it. Has it? Yeah. And we'd have to have the automatic. I think the automatic's about 2,900 extra. So you're probably looking at 80,000. Again, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Malibu. Oh, yeah. Wild I'm worn out already. Oh, <laughs> it's a long way from here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, I know. So this is a nice looking van, isn't it? Dreamer. So you're going to show us around? Yes. I was wondering where the shower was. The shower? This is the magic. Okay. Do you know where the shower is? Um, I guess it's in there somewhere. Look. <laughs> Look at this. Look oh, my goodness. Nice. What's going on there? Swing that round. There's your wardrobe. Yeah. And look. You've got a proper shower. Pro <laughs> what would you say to that, then? Oh, that's a brilliant idea, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's clever, isn't it? So it's, it's moved really, all the sort of the cupboard really out of the clever. way. Um, and I don't. I think you have to be careful. Well, I don't know whether you can put this door back or not. No. To shut it off. Or oh, is that a uh, bifold, isn't it? Is it yeah. Well, it's a vlogger. That just, no, that just folds like that. <laughs> so I don't reckon. I don't Could reckon it, you can. You're in stereo it. here. But anyway, that's, um, <laughs> that's very clever. I think I've made sure that's shut. And I put it back. It's like a stable door, isn't it? It's quite a good size wardrobe, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> she hasn't seen, hasn't seen the two cameras. Yeah. That's really clever. Yeah. But it's just where you want it, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's good, isn't it? Really good. Well, it's, they've got the heating on in here. That's hot. Oh, I've got a coat on. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. You've obviously got your bed made up at the moment at the back. Yeah. And that's quite a good size bed, isn't it? Yeah. Give a special mention, Dave. Oh. Yeah. DRW Electronics. Some really useful advice here if you're struggling with your cameras, particularly sort of rear views and uh, being dazzled by headlights. And he's got all the sort of the rear view cameras that you could possibly want. And some really good advice. So thank you for that. You're very welcome. Thank you. <laughs> just sort of stopped by at the my rider stand so I was actually quite surprised how small that folds up I mean it's you see how see that I mean it's the same sort of uh, as the Fido it's got the connectors there and it's a you haven't got um, derailleur gears so it's just it's a hub gear I guess but yeah it's tiny isn't it mm. Yeah. Is that the same as? Is that? I mean, you have to come down. <laughs> come down here. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, obviously they've got ones with bigger wheels. Camo edition. Look who we bumped into. Hi, <laughs> Andy. And over there somewhere. Yeah. It's John. It's John. <laughs> Working on his sales pitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That's right. uh, it's like really nice to meet them. Yeah. And John's bike's here as well. Yes. That one there. That one there. Well, stay on my feet. Yeah, so I'll have a little look at that in a second. But he's, he's, yeah, he's doing a really good job, isn't he? Mm. He loves them. He loves yeah, them. he does. <laughs> It was lovely to meet John and Mandy, the first time we met them, and uh, yeah, they were very nice. And we had a long, long chat with them, so... We're heading well, into an awning here. So, yeah, I don't think we want to be going this way. We did this, yes, you did this yesterday, Yeah, didn't you? Alison nearly ended up with this in the end. <laughs> with the toilet tent. Yeah, and I said that's a storage that's a tent, really. Storage tent, it's yeah. It's about the right size. It's a much simpler idea, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, a lot quicker to put up than... Yeah, it's like an inflatable, what would you call them? I think she went off that idea like she went off awnings yesterday. Yeah, yeah they all seem to be inflatable here, don't they? Oh, look at the room in there. Wow. Oh. Unclips and unfolds, there you go. Activate the air pump. You see Hubnut coming around here. There it goes. Yeah, be an upgrade Hubnut. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. Wow. There you go. Wow, yeah. It's very clever. All right, we need some more of this. It's sold by her. There we are. So, £20 at the moment. Get the bigger one. Right, let's do that then. Right. <laughs> Hiya. All right. Just, just stop by and say hello to Sol Bio. A uh, great couple of chaps here, and it's their four-in-one formula, and they've got us covered. <laughs> so we've got, <laughs> we've got our supplies, but uh, twenty pounds at the show. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah so it's brilliant. Yeah, and you've got all the. Uh, Oh, yeah, I haven't seen yeah, that. We have the, the ingredients on display, plant extract. Oh, okay, uh, all right. Soap, yeah. Essential oils, uh, citric uh, acid. This is uh, the four ingredients. That, so that's all that's in it, isn't that's it? All. Yeah. It's the plant extract that's doing the magic. Yeah. yeah. It's boosting the ecosystem in the toilet. Yeah. So we are composting the waste. Okay, that's, that's, that's really interesting. Yeah. That. That's good. So, natural so you're on stand or you're on, well, you're on 188. 188. Yeah, 188. <laughs> and you'll find them round the corner. Yeah, it's hall 12. It's hall 12. Yeah. And opposite MB4, 14. <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> and a flag. There you are. So you can't miss it. <laughs> so thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. All right, Thank you, you take you. care. Enjoy the rest Thank of the you. show. Bye bye, bye, -bye then. Bye then. Bye. So this is the 20 litre water carrier. So you've got the, it's on a little uh, carrier thing, because that was your question, wasn't it? And Bob said that, how do you mm. carry it? Obviously you can lit, you, got, you haven't got much in there at the moment, have you? But, no, there's no water in there. No. So that's a compromise, you know, you overusing sort of an aqua roll. And, and you've been working on this for absolute blooming ages. Two or three years, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we've now got this lock in version but you can see there we've got now got screws thread on there. Okay. So okay. So this is the eight litre version. Um, yeah. The current ones don't have a lock in lid but this is a development that we're, we're looking to put across all our vessels. Right. So people really want especially with the eight litre ones to take water with them. Yeah. Rather than finding it destination. Okay. Brilliant. So that's, yeah I, I mean I I would go for that one. Don't. I'd fancy trying that honestly. Yeah. 
Yeah, can you? Sh yeah, you still get your dispens the same dispensing. Yeah, stuff, and you can put a cap on there as well and just use it as a, a normal bucket. As okay, well. okay. So you can just close that off. Yep. And this trolley is uh, ultra lightweight yep. aluminium, so it just quick release clips. Yeah. Hold that up. up. Oh yeah. And the wheels come off That's as well. That's it. And that'll go underneath. So that go. That's got to save space, isn't it? I think we're going to try one, you know. Pre -register. Oh, pre-register. Yeah. Pre-register. Yeah, okay. Pre yeah. One. All right, we'll do that then. Okay. When's it? When's it out? Spring. Spring. Just, okay. start, just started the tooling. Okay. Excellent. Well, thanks for that. Let me get that for you, Bill. There you go. <laughs> So we thought we'd finish on a Frankia. We haven't looked at a Frankia on the show. And this is a Frankia MT7 GDK Neo. Standard price is £98,000. It's a Mercedes, £3,500. Uh, it doesn't tell me the thing. There's all sorts of optional e equipment on this motor. So the price as exhibited on this is 116000 Three hundred and ninety-nine. What I did notice was it's got heated cab seats. Heated cab seat. Well, that's it. That's worth the. That's worth you know, every penny. I mean, we've got heated cab seats on our uh, VW on the up. How difficult can it be? Just need one hundred and sixteen thousand pounds for it. Oh. Quite a way up, isn't it? Mm. No, a lot of these uh, sprinters seem to be quite high up. Presumably, it's because you've got false floor again. You're not impressed. That is a frown. <laughs> Just says, uh, it's probably totally the wrong angle. This yeah, thing, well, it's quite a way back, isn't it? Someone's set it all the way back. Maybe that's it. You've got a little elastic Katie straps to keep your magazines in place. Five G Wi-Fi. And it's sort of a traditional camper van layout, really, with the travel seats like this. What? I feel like I'm sitting in a deck chair and right down on the ground. Well, you want to sit down. Yeah. A little oven. Two burner. Three burner. Luxury. Well, that feels like slate, that does. It's metal or something. Nice cutlery drawer. We do like the Frankias, I mean, they, they, but they're, they're normally monsters. This is quite a small van for Frankia. Quite a smallish fridge. Somewhere to put your telly. Telly's here. Hmm? TV's here. Oh, you could put, well, you could put another, well, I don't know, you could put another telly there, I suppose. Main sockets. And here's the bed. That looks all right. Oh, yeah. Well, there's plenty of headroom. Oh, it's got a nice flashy. Ooh. In here? Yeah. There must be some sort of lights in here then. Yeah, sorry about that. Oh, it's really flashing. Oh, dear. Is it, is it just yeah. in the bedroom or? Sorry? Just in the bedroom, it's, it's flashing. It's those lights in, in the bedroom, yeah. It's all right in here? Yeah. Well, I don't know if I'll use this if it's that flashy. Let's, go, Let's whoop, take a picture whoop. of the bedroom. Oh, I just open the uh, washroom door and that bangs on the kitchen as you go in. But a huge, huge shower area. Looks like that sink pushes in. It gives you an even bigger shower area. I think that's the biggest shower we've seen in the show so far. It's an award for the hugest shower. <laughs> <laughs> it's got your um, screen on the door there. Okay. Yeah, it's a very different shower area. I don't really know why that looks like it needs to... Does it move? I don't know if it moves or not. Probably don't need to move it. I suppose you do because you've got to move the things there. Have you found any, that any more comfortable yet? It's okay, it just, it's probably how somebody's adjusted this. But yeah. No, I'm just saying about this door. That door. I oh, know, you open that and it opens. bangs on the back of the seat. 
Bang Be on. really careful. On there. Yeah. Okay. It's not doing it for me, 116,000 no, pounds. No, it's not for me, actually. I don't really like the look of that there, the no. travel seats. No, okay. I don't like the fact that the lights are flashing, ruining you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Never be able to film our own van, would we? Oh, look at that. Whoa, that went really flashy. No. That's one we won't be getting. No, it's just far way too big. <laughs> <laughs> So Jenny needs a coffee now. I need a coffee. So unless we see something uh, that really stands out, I think that's our coverage of the show. Done and Done. dusted. Yeah, three videos. Three videos. I think by the time we get to the third video, people have stopped watching anyway because they've got bored of me droning <laughs> on about opening cupboards. And, and that's a Thetford fridge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just for a change. Yeah. Or, yeah. Oh, it's a Dometic fridge. <laughs> So thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up and we'll catch up with you on the next one. And we're doing a couple of product reviews that I've promised or threatened. <laughs> <laughs> so watch out for that.